So the Lakers, they head into the offseason looking for a new coach and with no draft picks in the upcoming draft. And at the start of the season, imagine telling Lakers fans we'd already be talking about next season on April 11th. So here's LeBron James earlier today on whether this regular season was a, quote, failure. It's not a failure. It's not like, um, you know, we came together as a, as a team. We wanted to be as crazy as we can be. We just didn't accomplish a lot of the things that we we would have hoped. But, um, you know, I, obviously I'll take, you, you follow me, if any of my career, when we don't succeed, I'll take a lot of the responsibility. You know, and that's just, that's just who I am. Bringing Shanae Agumake into this conversation. So we heard Rob Polinka say that the season was disappointing. We heard LeBron say that maybe it wasn't a failure. That's not how he would contextualize it. Shanae, what do you make of what we heard from LeBron and Rob? I think when we say failure, it's largely because the Los Angeles Lakers are a championship or bust franchise. But the reality is, you know that it's very difficult to win championships each and every year, right? You want to always be striving towards that. And I would say it's no longer a failure. It's more just a lost season. You think about LeBron James at the age of 37, you know, second in a scoring title, you know, 30.3 points per game, where he could have probably potentially pushed through and played more if he had things to play for, where they're not in that situation circumstance because he missed 20 or so games AD missed 40 or so games which is pretty much half the season it was a lost season and that's the hardest thing to reconcile because you didn't get the chemistry you didn't have the health you didn't figure out how to play together you didn't buy into the coaching and then on top of that you have one of the greatest players of all time that potentially could have played for a championship and you're not even in the playoffs so it's not necessarily a failure it's more so a completely lost season which feels like a play failure for so many of these hall of famers on their resume no, I agree. It, it, it depends on how you look at it. Is it not a, is it not a, uh, did you not lose? You just learned a lesson. Was this a lesson about how chemistry is, is going to work? Who can fit well with Braun and AD? You know, how did the, how did the Russell uh, fit work? All of that stuff is true. And I look at the Lakers and I think people underestimate when you talk about veterans and players of this caliber, you underestimate their basketball IQ. And I think very early on going back to the preseason, they saw that they were going to have some issues. Then you compound that with the injuries and then the injuries of the young players that were, you know, some of them never even played up this season. So when you look at the entire situation, I think they were very aware that this season was going to be difficult and it just got away from them. Yeah, but I think back to that tweet about keep the same energy when, when we're rolling. I don't think they thought that it was going to come to this much of a screeching halt maybe until they got to the very end. What do you think, Perk? Well, well I think... LeBron tripping along with Richard and Sinead. Like, this season was beyond the failure. Like, like we can't sit up here and talk about, on one instant, how Frank Vogel was fired minutes after a game, and then we talk about how the Lakers not won a, only a, a, about 1,500 games. I mean, yeah, 15 games under 500. And then on top of that, look, it's not that they didn't win, they failed to win a championship. They failed to make the postseason, and then they failed to make, make the, the play-in play to give them an opportunity to make the postseason. So at the end of the day, yes, this is a failure. And I hate to say it because I was one of the ones that thought it was going to be a special season for the Los Angeles Lakers, but I was wrong. But it is a failure. Like, it's nothing. We can't shortchange this or try to hide it. That's what it is. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.